The following passage is found in 2 Chronicles chapter 6, verse 12, Solomon's Prayer. And he stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands. For Solomon had made a brazen scaffold of five cubits long, five cubits broad, and three cubits high, and had set it in the midst of the court, in the presence of all the congregation of Israel, and spread forth his, and kneeled upon his knees, and spread forth his hands towards heaven, and said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven or earth, keeping covenant and showing steadfast love to your servants who walk before you with all their hearts. You kept your servant David my father while you declared to him. You spoke with your mouth, and with your hand fulfilled it this day. Now therefore, O Lord God of Israel, keep within thy servant David my father, which hath promised him, saying, Now there shall not be fellow men to sit upon the throne of Israel, that thy children take heed to walk in my law, as they walk in my way. Now then, O Lord God of Israel, let the word be verified which has which thou hast spoken unto thy servant David. Now then, O Lord God of Israel, let thy word verify which you hast spoken to thy servant David. But where God if he did dwell men on earth, behold heaven and see heavens and heaven cannot contain you, how much less this house which I have built. Have respect, therefore, to the prayer of thy servant and to his supplication, O Lord thy God, to hear King, and to the cry which thy servant prayed before thee. That thine eyes may be upon this house day and night, upon the place whereof thou said that would has put my name there. Hearken therefore unto the prayer of thy servant. Hearken therefore unto the supplications of thy servant and of thy people Israel, and what they shall make toward this place. Hear thou from thy dwelling place and from heaven, and when thou hearest, forgive. If a, if a man sin against his neighbor, and an oath be laid upon him to make him swear, and an oath come before thine altar in this house. Then hear thou from the heavens, and do and judge thy servants by recruiting the wicked, by recommencing his own way by his own head, by justifying the righteousness, by giving him according to his righteousness. And if thy people Israel be put before the worst enemy, because they have sinned against thee, and shall return and confess thy name, and pray and make supplication, before thee in this house. Then, dear, then hear thou from the heavens, and forgive thy sin of thy people Israel, and bring them unto the land which thou givest to them and to their fathers. When the heavens are shut up, and there is no rain because they have sinned against thee, yet it return to this place, and confess thy name, and turn from sin when thou hast afflict them, then forgive the sins of thy servants and of thy people Israel, and show them the good way in which they should walk. Then send rain upon the land you have given thy people as an inheritance. If there be in the land famine, if there be pestilence, blasting mildew, locusts, or if there be caterpillar, if the enemy besiege them in the Lord, in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be. What prayer or what supplication soever shall be made of any man or of thy people Israel, when they shall know their own sores and their own grief, and shall spread forth their hands in this house. Then hear thou from heaven the dwelling place, and forgive, and render unto every man according unto all his ways, whose heart thou knowest. For thou only knowest the hearts of the children of men, that they may fear thee, to walk in thy ways, so long as they live in the land which thou gavest unto our fathers. Moreover, concerning the stranger, which is not of thy people Israel, but is come from a far country for thy great name's sake, for thy mighty hand, and for thy stretched out arm, if they come and pray unto this house, then hear thou from heaven, even from thy dwelling place, and do according to all that the stranger calleth to thee for, so that all people may know thy name, and so that your name may be known amongst the people, 
and that your name may be feared, as doth thy people Israel, and may know that this house which I have built is called by thy name. If thy people go out to war against their enemies by the way that thou shalt send them, and pray unto thee toward this house which you have, to the city which you have chosen, and unto the house which I have built for thy name. And hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication, and maintain their cause. If they sin against thee, for there is no man which sins not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them over before their enemies, and they carry them away captives into the land far or near. And if, yet if they bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captive, and turn and pray unto thee in the land of their captivity, saying, We have sinned, we have done amiss, and have dealt wickedly. And so return unto the and so return unto the, unto there with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captives, and pray unto the, and towards the land which thou gavest unto their fathers, and towards the city which thou hast chosen, and towards the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou from heaven their prayer and their supplication, and maintain their cause. Now, my God, I beseech thee, let thine eyes be open, and let thine ears attend to the prayer which is made into this place. <laughs> 